okay, this time we talk about the open source community in Hong Kong. And we are glad that Sammy come to here to share this topic to us. So let's give him a big hand. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Uh, in this talk, I am I introduce about the open source community in Hong Kong. So, this is my third year at, to attending Conscom, and this is my first year to be a staff in Conscom. So, um, this community uh, actually we uh, we always uh, share our lot, uh, our experience. New open source experience from others, and also we will contribute the open source uh, project we are interested. So let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, I am founding chairman of Hong Kong Linux Musical and founder of uh, Open Source Hong Kong, and I also a uh, member of uh, Jerome Foundation and uh, 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 Web in Hong Kong. So I am a uh, tech major. Uh, I am Hong Kong ISP, and I'm a software developer. And in 1997, the, uh, Hong Kong is a uh, handover to China. And uh, actually, uh, for Hong Kong people, uh, we are we to, to, uh, to, uh, the two countries, which is uh, from uh, China and, uh, and also from the United Kingdom. And some other uh, uh, free home people are posting other passport instead from uh, other countries as well. And uh, so, uh, the advantage of Hong Kong open source community is that uh, we understand uh, both Western and Chinese culture, and we still have uh, freedom of speech. Yeah. So, um, uh, I am participating in uh, Hong Kong News Musical, and uh, Hong Kong author, and Mozilla Hong Kong. So I will tell you about our story, uh, open source community in Hong Kong. So we are starting from local and then go Asia and global. Um, so actually we start from the Lucky Lucky Sevens, which uh, we uh, we start uh, uh, we we uh, we start the Hong Kong News School in Lucky Lucky Seven from our local uh, Ulysses uh, News School. And then uh, we made our own uh, Linux, Linux school server uh, at, uh, at, data, uh, at the data center. And then we um, we have two uh, uh, now now we have uh, uh, two websites for Hong Kong and Open Source Hong Kong with uh, Linux.org.hk and also Open Source.hk. And also we use uh, Google, Facebook, and other servers for the communications. Um, actually, in Hong Kong, we have uh, limits and open source exhibitions, and also we have some uh, seminar and talks, and also uh, we have the Fay and the limits the gathering, which which is uh, casual uh, limits and open source users meetups. Which actually, uh, this one is uh, many years ago is up uh, one uh, 1998, yeah. So. And then uh, we also we have a uh, Linux workshop. Uh, actually, this photo is uh, teaching the Linux user how to install CLE. How long would and uh, what is CLE? Yeah, then, then you are very old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then Linux at some middle school in Hong Kong. And now I'm I'm a Hong Kong Linux user. And uh. Executive committee is uh, uh, have a uh, three members with Hagen and Wanda and Walter. Uh, Wanda is here. Yeah, he is vice chair of Hong Kong Linux School, and also I am founding chairman. And um, what, is, uh, what are our uh, uh, activities in Hong Kong? Uh, we uh, we share some uh, Raspberry Pi, how to use it, how to develop some uh, uh, applications. And also, we have a uh, hang first day in Hong Kong. And uh, the Hong Kong government uh, organized an uh, artifact uh, from last year. So, uh, 
uh, we organized uh, an open source seminar for the artist uh, for the artist fest, and um, uh, some of the open source developer to develop uh, iPad charity and also uh, Stockfy is another uh, Chinese image platform, and we also some uh, we also have some uh, WeWeb user in Hong Kong, and uh, we have a free Adobe developers in uh, Hong Kong University School. Uh, they are uh, focus Spain and YP1. And, uh, and then what about uh, open source Hong Kong? Uh, actually, open source Hong Kong is the online communication of uh, open source communities in Hong Kong and Google. And we work closely with Hong Kong. And also uh, assist Hong Kong to build up its community again. And then, uh, so what is the what is Oka? Oka is a uh, which stands for Application Knowledge Associations, which are uh, founded in uh, 2004, which are project based organizations. Um, uh, Sunis and uh, Ben Lam are president and vice president of these organizations. Um, and I am uh, one of advisors in these organizations. Um, uh, in, uh, why uh, they started a Chinese free phones project in Hong Kong, which built uh, uh, upon uh, 5,000 Hong Kong Chinese characters. Because uh, in Hong Kong, there are some uh, different Chinese characters, uh, special, char uh, special Chinese characters used in Hong Kong. So there's some soy pole. Yeah. And then, uh, okay, also, okay, the IT leader and IT fund to uh, to provide program to uh, Hong Kong middle school students, and also they provide uh, training lessons to teach some uh, officers in Hong Kong government to how to use uh, open office. Um, uh, so, uh, so uh, we also uh, join some uh, Asia community and global community uh, in these three years. Um, Uh, at the day of the 1.0 launch, we uh, organized a launch party in Hong Kong. So they have, they have some they have some party with uh, cake cutting, and also they go to they visit the uh, computer center to uh, get some uh, free uh, five four CD. Yeah, and then I I'm Hagen also organized a five four three and four parties in Hong Kong, and then uh, personally. Uh, personally, I enjoyed um, most chemistry in last uh, last year in Singapore, and also uh, and also I'm uh, first Mosaic web based in Hong Kong, and also uh, some Mosaic Mosaic in Taiwan we visited uh, Vicky Mela this week in Hong Kong, and. Uh, and we also uh, oppose uh, the long user group in Hong Kong. So this is our first uh, event in Hong Kong with a uh, Geelong free party. And then uh, we organized a uh, Geelong Asia Summit in Hong Kong this year. And then uh, I am Hagen also joined the uh, Asia Committee, the, uh, sorry, Asia Committee to uh, organize uh, the uh, it's a summit in, in, in Korea, yeah. And also, uh, in Hong Kong, uh, is a headquarter of uh, one letter per child's project, which uh, they uh, they uh, they design some uh, 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 computers for some ch children in some uh, in some countries. So they have some uh, deployment in different countries, such as in Hong Kong, in Sichuan, and also Britain. Britain. Um, and actually, um, our focus is in uh, Hong Kong, uh, open source Hong Kong, Geo Asia, Mosaic Asia, Oka, and also uh, one net per child. And we also uh, participate um, Reaching some other open source community or open, uh, or open culture community in Hong Kong, such as uh, Jupo, Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, Open Data, half an hour, Java, JavaScript, Ruby. Uh, although, yes, uh, although many of them are 
uh, small committees uh, with around uh, uh, 10 members in their meetups. Yeah. Uh, we also are wishing uh, Wikimedia and also Creative Commons in Hong Kong as well. So, you may join us, join our committee. Um, actually, we have our first Hong Kong Open Source Conference this year, which is in October. And also, we uh, and also uh, OFPC uh, Asia Pacific will organize first base camp in Malaysia, which uh, in November. Um, so, uh, Hong Kong Open Source Conference is a one day to Coaches conference, which expect uh, 200 to 300 participants. So we are calling for proposals and sponsors now. And so uh, OFPC organized base camp in Malaysia, so you can enjoy this environment and discuss the uh, the OFPC program and also do some hacking with others. And then uh, decide some new deployment with the team. So, one more things, we have this session in two C one D, which uh, which uh, with our with with our member Paka, he will talk about the VWeb in the how to uh, how to uh, teach VWeb in the middle school. Yeah, oh, fifteen minutes, so many times. So, <laughs> thank you, and um, I would like to introduce uh, Wanda to join my Q and A sessions. So, if you have any questions, you can ask us. Yeah. Okay, we have some times, and uh, if you have some question, you can raise your hand and ask. Does there has anyone? Can, can you listen to Chinese? Oh, yeah, we can. We will try to listen to Chinese. Yeah. We will listen to Mandarin, and we have some translation here. You can use Chinese to respond to me. Okay. Difficulties. So maybe you share your experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. For, for the difficulties to promote, that's yeah. the problem because Hong Kong, in Hong Kong, most of people are, are just focusing on business, and that the most of the the most important things for them is the support, is the support, and then so that uh, they will. Really, that they will want, they most likely want to choose Microsoft solution rather than open source solution because they want to make the uh, those uh, duty and then the, the responsibility to that software. They don't want to take the problems and then take the uh, uh, take the things themselves. So that now uh, it is quite difficult to promote the Linux to in business view. And then the other things in Hong Kong, uh, 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 in Taiwan, uh, we, we could see that uh, the government is willing uh, the people okay, to use more open source things. And, and the other things, we can see the education department in Taiwan, they are doing such kind of things. But in Hong Kong, those people in the government, they do not have such kind of sense. And then, uh, and then for those people in school, it's quite old mind, so that they don't want to change. Yeah. And then that's really hard to, to them to try to use the open office and, and the other things. Yeah, so I think the state is as same as in Taiwan. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah that's, that's maybe the Chinese problem. <laughs> yeah, and so that uh, we are still working hard to do some more, uh, some, uh, work, more workshop. And then wonder, and then to promote it to the uh, students, and then if they have interest, and then they just want them to try to use it, and then uh, and then so that uh, the web app uh, for the uh, for the podcast podcast stuff, and actually it's an open source three D printer, and then it makes uh, those uh, students very interested on using it and how to produce the video, 
And then uh, I think this may be a good, another good start for the coming years in Hong Kong for the open source. Yeah. But actually, it's quite hard to, to do. Uh, and, and actually, uh, when um, I'm taken over the uh, Hong Kong Business School Group uh, two or three years ago. Uh, 2000, 2000, 2011. So to, uh, they take over the Hong Kong Business School Group two years ago, and then actually, Hong Kong Business School Group was inactive for three years, and we lost hold the whole the uh, membership database. So we we start and seal to collect more members. Yeah. So this is one of the uh, difficulty to promote uh, uh, open source and Linux in Hong Kong. And also, um, actually, uh, when uh, ten, 10 years ago, uh, Linux is still new to uh, some IT staff in Hong Kong, they would like to learn more about Linux and open source. But, uh, but after they learn some uh, open source skills, uh, uh, they are, they are not, they are uh, interested to join the uh, the community or some events, yeah. So this and the difficulties, yeah. So um, so says uh, one uh, He is also very hardcore and very very interested to the open source technology, yeah. Okay. Does there has an, another question? Okay, please. Um, my name is Roshan. I'm wondering that uh, actually there's a uh, Linux Pilot magazine in Hong Kong. Yeah. Linux Pilot. Linux Pilot. Yeah. Have been published for years. So I'm wondering uh, if uh, the Linux user group have anything to do with uh, like connection with the Linux Pilot. Oh yes, yes. Uh, uh, actually. Very close, very close to Linux Pilot magazine. Yeah, because uh, uh, actually I am one of uh, advisor of their first uh, first book. Yeah, first book to teach about Linux. And and also personally, I'm I'm some sometimes to build some article to Linux Pilot. Yeah, we always always happy to uh, send me to you some Linux Pilot magazines to distribute in the in your events. So. You can see some Linux pilot in this conference as well. Yeah. Okay. Last question. Or if no one has question, maybe we can take a rest.